Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Premium Tech Century, and since the iPad Mini was announced yesterday, I'm sure a lot of you will be asking which is the better purchase, the Nexus 7 or the new iPad Mini? And actually, that's also the question that I'm asking myself. So let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of both tablets, and let's figure out which is the best for you. So starting off with the Nexus 7, it's probably one of the best, if not the best, Android tablet out there at the moment. It received excellent reviews from all the major sites. And so let's take a look at some of the advantages. So first off, it's a Nexus device, which means that it's always getting the latest Android updates. So it's currently running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, but as soon as Android 4.2 will be announced, it'll sure get pushed to the Nexus. So you're always on the safe side when you want to have the latest software. Point two is actually the display which has a resolution of 1280 x 800 which results in a pixel density of 216 ppi which is really great for a 7 inch tablet. Number three is actually the processor. You get a quad core Tegra 3 processor with 1 gigs of RAM so amazing CPU in there. So last but certainly not least is of course the price. You can pick up a Nexus 7 for $199 for 8 gigabytes or $249 for 16 gigabytes and those prices might even drop a little bit further coming the Google event next week. So now let's talk about the cons of the Nexus 7. Number one, support. The Google Nexus 7 is built by Asus, but sold by Google. So it seems like Google and Asus can't figure out who's responsible for all the service requests. And I've heard that from a lot of people on Twitter that they had a really hard time first about reaching somebody and then about actually getting somebody who can replace their device and that this took a long time. So support definitely isn't one of the strengths of the Google Nexus 7. Number two is actually fairly similar and that's the build quality. Of course you can't expect a high build quality from a 199 tablet but still there have been too many reports of bad build quality on the Nexus 7 as well as bad quality control that they even shipped defective or malfunctioning units. And the last and biggest con is definitely the app selection. While the Android app selection for phones might be good enough, for tablets it's definitely falling behind. There's just a small selection in the App Store, actually, or in the Play Store, I should rather say, where you can find staff picks for tablet apps. But besides that, there's no real way to see if it's a tablet app or not. And in my opinion, Google should really push out a separate version of the Play Store where you only have tablets apps in there so that developers are actually motivated and kind of forced to release new updated versions for the tablets that suit their screen sizes of 7 or 10 inch better. So now let's talk about the iPad mini. It's a long rumored device and now it's finally unveiled. Despite all the hype, not everything about it is great, but let's start off with the good points. Number one, it has a bigger screen. It's 7.9 inches and that actually doesn't sound a lot bigger than a 7 inch screen, but it almost gives 35% more screen real estate and that's definitely noticeable and so I'm a big fan of that. Number two has to be dimensions. What I mean by that is that the iPad mini is actually just 7.2 millimeters thin, so it's really thin. I think the Nexus 7 is around 12 millimeters in comparison, and also it's lighter. It's 306 grams, and that's around 40 grams lighter than the Nexus 7. Third, the camera. Well, the Nexus 7 only has a front-facing camera. We actually see a five megapixel camera on the back of the iPad mini. And that camera is also capable of shooting HD 1080p video as well as taking 5 megapixel still photos with image stabilization. And so this is a pretty good camera on the back and definitely welcome. While I'm not the biggest fan of holding your iPad around and filming and shooting in public, I assume with a 7-inch tablet it's not quite as bad as with a 10-inch. But actually for me, I personally often just um, take pictures of stuff that I need to remember and so that's definitely a good thing and if you want to tweet something or upload to Instagram that's definitely a nice thing. And next up we'll have 4G connectivity and this isn't available on the Nexus 7 yet that might be changing once the Android event will actually take place next week but as of right now there are only 4G versions for the iPad mini and for me personally if I take a tablet out and about it's nice if it has its own dedicated data connection and especially if it's 4G and if it's blazing fast. So that's definitely a pro even though it's quite expensive. Now let's talk about the cons to the iPad mini. So first off the screen and yes I said the size was great and it is but the resolution isn't that great anymore because we see that we only have a 1024 times 768 resolution which results in a PPI of 163 so a lot lot lower than on the Nexus 7. So text won't look as sharp 
pictures overall probably won't look as good and that's definitely a big flaw. One of the biggest downfalls of the iPad mini is definitely the price. It started at $329 but even if you only want to get the 16 gigabytes with 4G you have to pay $459 and in my opinion that's just way too much for such a small tablet. Another big downfall is related to the hardware and that's the processor because we'll find the A5 processor in the iPad mini and that's a dual core processor which isn't necessarily bad but the A5 processor is the same processor that you'll find for example in the new iPod touch but also in the iPhone 4 so it's a two or three year old processor and it doesn't really seem up to today's standards. So now that we talked about the specs and actually the pros and cons of both devices it's honestly a really tough decision. On the one side you have an awesome Android tablet for a really good price. On the other side you have the iPad mini with great looking hardware, good dimensions like 7 mm thin, it's amazing, but also other things like the screen resolution that aren't too great and also the processor that seems to be outdated. So it's really a tough decision. And I have to say first I was overly excited for the press event yesterday and now I'm kind of like it's a downfall, especially for the price point. They should have at least made it 250. But that being said, I think apps is what decides it all. And that's basically a tablet is good and everything. And if you're only using things like YouTube, for example, the Nexus 7 is probably the best choice for you because you won't have letterboxing. And so the videos will look a lot better. But if you're using your tablet also a lot for emails and for internet browsing, probably the 4 by 3 aspect ratio will be even better on the iPad mini. And that being said, bigger screen is definitely welcome and rear facing camera. As I said, I'm not planning on taking it uh, on vacation to take a lot of photos with it, but just nice to have this camera, for example, also for reading QR codes or just for price comparisons and things like that. More like utility style apps than actually just photo taking or maybe Instagram. So apps are pretty much what decided all and there's just a way, way bigger selection on the Apple iOS store. And that's basically just because the resolution is the same as you found on the original iPad as well as on the iPad 2. So they said about a quarter million apps are already optimized for the iPad mini and that's a huge win. For me personally, I'm not quite sure if I'll be pre-ordering the iPad mini this Friday. I think I will order the 16 gigabyte black version, but I'm honestly not quite sure. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Don't make an Android versus iOS war. Well, if you want to, just do it. And so leave your thoughts. What do you think is the better tablet, Nexus 7 or iPad mini? Do you think the Android event next week will have a big impact? Maybe we'll see a price drop of the eight gigabytes Nexus 7 to 175 maybe, or 150, or maybe the room at 99 bucks. That would be absolutely insane. So for now, that's my comparison. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button above. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.